Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to BYT. I uh, will show you what we got going on this morning. All right. With full charge, it, just like I thought, it lifted it up, set it in place, no problem. Now, these are still not, these panels are still not clamped into place. They're just setting in there. Um, but I had to boot stomp the top corner on that one to get it in place, so I felt pretty comfortable of raising it, and I did it nice and slow. Um, now, I'll probably clamp it in place before I lower it. But, got my plate cut. Seam together all the way across. I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna weld it, and then I'm putting knees in, and I'm putting them where. See, I got this rod up, so they're up underneath. So when I put my expanded metal on, it'll ride completely over top of this and around this edge. Because I'll take these panels out, and then I'll flatten the expanded metal. I'll hammer it over and roll it over this edge of this pipe. And then I'll weld it in place. And the same thing down here. This will be welded. I'll take the expanded metal and I'll and I'll wherever it touches this edge will be welded solid. So this is gonna create this nice little incline ramp, only an inch and a half off the ground. And I'm gonna put a plate at every one of these gussets, or every one of these supports here. And my idea is, it's just an idea, that I might weld a rod solid to this. So when I close the gate, drill a hole in these, you know, it'll be one on that end, one on this end. Push it in, push it in, put a pin in it. So, you know, pull the pin, put the gate down. You know, it's all going to determine on this down here on whether I have room for a short rod, which I'm assuming I will. You know, that would be nice just to push push it in as a locking mechanism. Put a big washer on it. You know, put a big washer on it, put a pin through it, a heavy duty pin, and uh when I lower the gate down, as long as I don't pull them pins, when I lower for the deck, that should hold it in place. You know, it'll, it'll hang from the hinge and it'll hang from two pins. One on that side, one on this side. So, you know, put a pin over there. Put another pin right here. Big washer. Big pin. You know, so I, do have, I do have these locking pins. Um, I think I got one right here. Yep, right here. See, I got, I got these, I got these locking pins. They snap. So if I was to put a washer over the rod and put one of these in, it's going to take a lot to shear that off. And those are easily found at tractor supplies. So. That may be my, my locking mechanism for the gate. You know, the only thing I'll have to worry about is if the tires are, you know, lose air. Um, that it may vibrate some. But uh, if the tires lose lose air pressure, which, you know, these ones, believe it or not, they're still holding air. They're still working. And, of course, you know, I will have an air compressor on hand. In a tank, so if they ever do go low, I mean, hell, I could even let the air out of the tires to allow that to sit flat on the ground if I need to. If I need to get rid of that inch and a half excess, I can just let the air pressure out of the tires and uh, add air when I'm ready to load it or fold up the ramp. Just put more air in the tires, it'll lift it off the ground and way it goes but yeah I'm adding these here so as I drive up this and put pressure downward on this that those are these plates will be welded solid it's not going to allow that to go down because in order for this to go down it's going to pull on this 
And if it pulls on this, it's going to pull on this, which will pull on the, up on the hinge. So, that is my plan for now. I will see you in a bit. Well, here we go. Got that in place. All welded up. I put a tab here so it can't come out. It's welded solid across the bottom. I put a second tab here which is welded across there, up and up. Then I went and I put four tabs on the sides. I have these hook tabs clamped down, welded in place, one over there, one down there, and one down here. Then I went underneath and I put two bolts, pinched them two together. And I tell you what, this thing is pretty solid. Now I'm playing around with my spring assist, but I'll show you. Retract. There it goes. It's going up, 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 and away. And it's solid. It's up. So, but you can see, there's a flat scrape in the ground. Of course, I know this ground is not level. So, if I am on level, I have a tool. I'm going to make a better one. Right now, I'm just using this little one I used on the forge or smelting pot to uh, see. I got to. I got to do something with this. When it comes down, it hits here just a little bit. I moved it back. So, try and take some of the slack out of it. If I'm thinking about, I may move this, I may move this up further. And uh, we'll see how that goes. If I do move it up, just like I have a hoop over there, I may do the same thing here. I may drill couple holes insert it with the cable in place and then weld the base um, now if I have to replace this cable I will do it with a hook end where I can just hook it on so I'll clamp this down kind of trying to straighten out this tube yeah it's a little messed up right here but as long as it functions right now that's the that's the key and of course I still have to cut this off here, move it forward like I did on that side over there to get the lock in place. But as it sits right now, I could lock this sucker down. I could ratchet strap this. I don't have a, a lock system for it yet. I thought about doing the pins and now that this is in place, I don't know if I'm going to do the pins or not. I might have to figure out another system you know because of course you know that side has to be pushed in a little bit you know it gives it gives it a little bit of tension right there it's all pushed in doesn't take much I'm just leaning against it but man this sucker me and Chris the fellow that did the stereo together we're a little over 500 pounds 600 pounds maybe um, because he's three something, I'm two twenty something, so we're close to five fifty. And before I even had it bolted on, we walked up and down that deck and that ramp, and it didn't budge. Six hundred pounds walking around on it, no movement whatsoever. I am quite happy. Um, so that's how I have it, man. It, it, all the welding prep and stuff's done. I just gotta figure out a locking mechanism for it. And, uh, oh, we'll turn it back on. And here it comes. Like I said, I have to, it's not swinging out as fast as I thought it was going to. So I just give it a swing. Kind of 
Oh, I mean, just putting my foot on the tire and rolling it and letting down at the same time. See, it's grabbing dirt right now. As I as I if, as I put pressure on the tire and flatten the tire, it's grabbing dirt. So, I mean, hell, if I even if I have to put bigger tires on it. I can. There you go. She's all the way down. And I do have it. It's not even really sitting on this foot. This is not. This one isn't, isn't even touching the ground. That one is over there. Um, but it's, it's not inside the bucket. It just touches flat ground. But this thing is so close to the ground. In the front. It's less than an inch and a half off the ground. So I can always put bigger tires on this thing as well and I may end up doing that I may end up going to usually like a five inch tire or something like that I don't know what they classify them as they're little harbor freight jobbers um, with the axles in place I might just find something with the same axle size a bigger tire and just put it on there because if I need it lower to the ground I just take air out of the tires and it will drop it'll drop all the way to the rim so, right now, that sucker's so smooth and easy to walk up and down, it's, it's crazy. It's, you know, it's pretty wild. I'm very happy with the success of it, how it's doing. So, we'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody. As you see, I'm done. I'm in for the day. If you like today's content, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Whatever you're doing out there, stay safe. Have yourselves a great day. Stay hydrated. See you tomorrow.